Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk a little bit about tension, uh, maintaining an open throat, and building acoustic space. Uh, they're all kind of connected, but first of all, just to start off, I'm going to show you something to, so you can get the concept of it. I have a glass here, right? And when it's empty and I flick it, or tap on it, it rings pretty nicely, right? You can hear it ring. You start putting a bunch of stuff in it, like these napkins here, you get more of a thud. It doesn't ring as it did before. This is why it's so important to really keep the throat open and create space for your voice to resonate and bounce around it and come out of your throat, off your soft palate and out of your mouth. If you have too much tension, if your throat is tightening up, if your neck's tightening up and this area is not relaxed and free, you're going to basically be closing in on the sound. You're going to be engaging muscles that you don't need to engage the thing and it's just going to muffle your sound, just like the napkins did inside the glass there. So we want to keep the throat open using a bright ah sound, ah, and that's really going to build the voice. There are going to be some vowels where your throat's going to close down a little bit, and those are the e and oo, an e sound. So in order to kind of compensate for that, you have to create like a, I don't know, a smile type face, right? So when I go e, I go e, right, a smile, and that's going to be all the way up your range, you want to smile more as you go higher into your range, but in the ooh sound, that's going to be a little bit different as well, because you kind of have to close the throat off for that sound, so ooh, ooh, you don't want to just pound into it, you kind of want to almost form it from the la sound, or the ah, so ow, and you want to keep that soft palate raised, alright, when I'm ascending in a scale, and I have my mouth open. You can actually see the soft palate, that thing with the dangly thing, the uvula, you can actually see it raise and go up and kind of disappear. So you have to maintain that sensation. You have to maintain having the resonance hit the soft palate in the back of your throat if you want to get a big, crisp, clear sound. And the tension is one of the biggest things you'll probably have to work on because a lot of us put the tension in the wrong areas. We want to put all our tension down in the pelvic region where we support our breath rather than in the throat, in the chin, in the neck, and all these places up here that will just hinder us in developing our voice. So uh, that's it for this lesson. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.